What's going on guys? Welcome to the match reaction. Um, this was Liverpool versus Manchester United and it was awful, absolutely disgraceful. Manchester United are woeful. We, I don't understand, like this is a massive game. We should have lost by a lot more than 2-0, let me tell you that. We were very lucky in the first half. Um, I'm absolutely fuming to be honest. Liverpool, we all know they're a great team. They're class dominating the Premier League, they haven't lost a game and um, we drew with them at Old Trafford and then I thought right we might be able to do something today uh, but no it wasn't to be. Manchester United are really really lacking <laughs> good players, um, our midfield is crap, we don't create anything, our injuries were suffering big time and I just heard that Marcus Rashford is out for two to three months, two to three months this season, as bad as it is already, we're fifth, I don't know how. It's been a terrible season and it's only going to get worse, um, especially because we haven't been buying anyone. We should have bought Erling Haaland, he scores a hat-trick on his debut, coming on as a sub, 23 minutes, scores a hat-trick, like what the hell. Um, now we have Rashford out injured, you know, we need players, we need midfielders. I don't know what to say. Anyway, I'm going to go through the lineups. Um, Allison in goals for Liverpool, Van Dijk, Gomez, Robertson and TAA. Then the midfield they had Wijnaldum, Henderson and the Ox. Then up front they had Firmino, Mane and Salah. Manchester United, David De Gea in goals of course, Lindelof, Maguire, Shaw. Um, then Fred, Wan-Bissaka, Nemanja Matic and Brandon Williams. And then Anthony Martial, Andres Pereira and Daniel James. We really missed Rashford, um, I'm not going to lie, we missed him a lot. We, yeah, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what to say. But our team, Manchester United, every time we had the ball, we couldn't keep possession. We were, David De Gea was kicking it out, we'd get it and straight away give it away. Straight away. We couldn't pick a pass. We'd win it back and then give it away straight away. It was awful to watch. We looked panicky, we looked afraid. Um, Liverpool were just so good. As soon as you know our players would pass it back, they'd come at us. You know we we can't be doing that. We're putting our own players under pressure. Stop passing it back when there's no other options. Also, when we have the ball, people are standing there. They pass it and they stand there watching the ball go off. Make moves. If you pass it, pass and move. It's a simple thing you learn when you're a kid. Pass and move. What are you waiting for? Like you're passing it and then you've got five Liverpool defenders and one person up front, one. Why can't you all move up and try and actually do something? Towards the second half, I think we actually did all right. Um, you know, we were passing it around. We looked like we were gonna score. You could see Liverpool getting nervous, but we couldn't. And then, yeah, at the end, oh my God, honestly, it's so shit. We got lucky with that, um, with that. Oh, sorry, I hope that chair doesn't break. Um, we got lucky. There was a goal that was disallowed by VAR, thank God. Um, David De Gea, um, Van Dijk went up, knocked him, and he dropped the ball. To be honest, I don't think, I think it should have been allowed. Being honest, you know, he didn't really do anything to him, but I'm thankful that VAR looked at it and, and you know, took the goal away. But then, offside again, Bobby Firmino scored. Um, he scored, oh no, that was the same one, sorry, that was the same one, but uh, it was a good goal, but obviously not allowed, what else, there was a an offside goal as well, obviously VAR, I think the ref, I don't want to blame the ref, but I think the ref was pretty shit, especially in the first half, kept giving Liverpool free kicks here and there, and the linesman, thank, thank God, wasn't really all for Liverpool, but the ref, giving them free kicks for everything, not giving us free kicks, Luke Shaw was fouled, nothing for him, and um, you know, I just thought it was annoying, very annoying throughout the game. Second half, a bit better, you know, a bit more 50-50, but yeah, um, that doesn't take away from the fact that Manchester United are shit. Manchester United need players. Andres Pereira, crap. His final ball, crap. Couldn't keep possession. Um, yeah, All right, the final third, like, I felt bad for Anthony Martial. Martial is a great player. He's so gifted. He's just techni technically good at everything he does. But he's not getting the service, so he can't do anything. The first half, he was so quiet. I don't really remember him doing anything. He maybe had one shot on target. 
Um, but then second half he came into it a bit, but it was him doing the work, trying to put balls in for other people. Anytime someone tried to pass to Martial, it was a shit pass. They passed it straight to a Liverpool player um, and he wasn't getting any service. I did think Martial could sneak one. He had a good chance near the end, um, but it just wasn't to be. Then, yeah, um, Mata coming on. I think this game was way too fast for one Mata, I really do. Uh, you know, obviously he has scored against Liverpool a few times. And, you know, that it would have been nice for him to come on and score, but I just think the way the game was, it was so up-tempo. Um, and I don't think, yeah, he wasn't really going to do much, was he? did all right when he came on, I suppose, but it was just crap. Um, the goal at the end really annoyed me, I must say. Mo Salah has never scored against Manchester United up until now. And, yeah, David De Gea was going to get up for a corner. And, yeah... Thank God he didn't, I suppose, but he may as well have because they scored straight away. Very, very annoying, um, I must say. Also, us, getting, us giving away corners were, were terrible. We have the same number of goals conceded from corners as Norwich and Aston Villa, two of the shittest teams in the Premier League right now. Eight goals conceded from corner kicks. We can't score from set pieces, but everyone seems to score against us. Um, it's absolutely awful. Definitely should have lost by more than 2 0 today. Definitely. I hate saying it, but we were absolute pony. Um, David De Gea kept us in the game. Quite a few good saves. I'm not going to lie, he did, you know, he did make a few good saves. But then that, that goal at the end, I think he could have done better. I really do. Uh, Ali Gunnar Solskjaer, I think, you know, he can only do his best with what he's got. Um, you know, the team that he picked, I kind of expected it, you know, we're, we've got players injured, players have left, Ashley Young is gone, um, so, like, what can Ollie do? Our players are just not good enough, they're really not, so, you can't really fault him, I think he did try and make changes, he took off um, Brandon Williams and tried to go attacking a little bit more, and it worked up until a certain point, I thought we were going to score, but it just wasn't to be. I'm going to do a quick player rating so I don't want to talk too much, but David De Gea, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, um, I'm going to say six because yes, he did pull off a few good saves, um, but I don't know, it wasn't the best, his distribution wasn't the best, and yeah, so six, Lindelof did alright, he actually did alright, I'll give him a six as well, Harry Maguire, not his best game I don't think, um, not his best game, I'm going to give him a five. Luke Shaw, I think he did well, came off with a little bit of an injury looking kind of worry, it wasn't major but I think could have pulled something, I don't know, um, so hopefully he'll be alright. But I do think he did well, I'm going to give him a 6. Fred, probably our best player on the night, um, seemed to just work hard, he was good at keeping possession, he kept sending other players for hot dogs, you know, just doing little pullbacks and um, Cruyff turns, he was good but again, nothing came of it. Um, he had a good little chance to score a goal, but it was off target, just off target, bottom left-hand corner, unfortunately. But um, I think Fred was probably one of our best players. I'm going to give him a 7 as well. Juan Basaka, not his best game again. He looked absolutely shattered. Uh, but he was overrun. He was overrun down the right-hand side, so I can't really fault him. I'm giving, giving, him, a, giving him a 5. Matic did well. Um, you know, Matic gets a lot of stick, people say he's not good enough, he's static, but I think he did alright today. Um, good game from him, considering, you know, we don't have very good players, but Matic was the one to, to stand up, um, and I'm going to give him a 6. Brandon Williams, again, probably one of our best things about this season. He's been brilliant, I love how tenacious he is, tough as nails, um, did very well, going to give him a 7, but he did come off, obviously they wanted to just attack more. Martial, unfortunately, doesn't have the service. What can he do when he's not being provided with the ball? He can't turn something. He can't make something out of nothing. That's what, you know, we need better players. This is a massive wake-up call for the board. Give Ali the money. Just get players in. We need Bruno Fernandes. We need other players. This is, honestly, we're screaming out for them. We're screaming out for players. Um... We're lucky to only lose 2-0 to this amazing Liverpool team. We really are. So Martial, I'm going to give him a 7 because he did try his very best. He had a lot of good chances. Um, and he really just tried to make something out of nothing as, as much as he could. 
Andres Pereira, absolute shit. I'm sorry, I don't remember him doing anything very well in the game. Passing was terrible, lost the ball so many times. I don't like giving players bad ratings, but I, I feel he deserves a four because he just wasn't good enough. Um, but let me know if that's a bit harsh. But from what I remember today, I think Andres Pereira was, was literally a poo emoji. Um, Daniel James did all right, ran his ass off. At the very end, Mo Salah's goal, he tried to defend, you know, getting back. He has a lot of energy. Good player. Um, did all right. I'll give him a six. Nothing really to rant about. Mata coming on. All right. Give him a six. Greenwood coming on. Didn't really do much. Had a chance to get his head on something, but he kind of just put his head under it. Not very good. I'll just give him a five, but it's not good or bad. It's just average. Um, Diago Delo coming on as well. Nothing really. He was only on for a couple of minutes. So I'll give him a five as well. Um, yeah, I, I really don't know what to think of that, but all I know is we have a massive crisis. We need players. We need players with balls. We need players who are gonna fight, and um, players who can actually create stuff. Who have you know brave players? That's what we need. All our players are just tiny, and even in corners, they're not being able to get up for anything, and we're not able to defend these corners. It's absolutely shit. Stats. Um, Liverpool had 53% possession, which is shocking because I did, I did think they would have had more. Um, they had five shots on target, we had four, which I don't really remember. I think Martial had two or three, Pereira had one, I think, or two. And um, we had nine shots altogether, but Liverpool had 16. <sighs> um, touches, kind of even 710 for Liverpool, 650 for Man United. Um, tackles, 21 Liverpool, 16 United. Clearances, 13 Liverpool, 34 Manchester United. Um, corners, 11 for Liverpool. And at one stage it was zero corners for Manchester United when Liverpool had 11. That is insane. We literally did nothing in the first half. Second half was much better. We got five corners. Um, two offside for Liverpool, three for us. I really thought we had a chance in scoring in the second half. We did put passes together. We started to grow in confidence. But um, yeah, just like awful, honestly. I said to my dad, he was like, come on, we can score, we can score. I was like, guarantee, if we score and it's one all, I guarantee Liverpool will score in the dying minutes anyway. So we'll get excited for like two minutes and then it'll go, we'll lose it anyway. Um, and we didn't score, but they did score in the dying minutes of the game. Again, as fucking always. Sorry for cursing. Um, so yeah, just absolutely crap. I was really looking forward to this game. I actually thought it was in Old Trafford for some reason. I don't know. I don't know why I thought that. But uh, yeah, I was really looking forward to it. I thought we could do something. I wasn't sure that Rashford's injury would be major. Um, I kind of hoped he would play. I thought maybe if he, if he did, we would definitely get a better result. Maybe a draw and um, possibly a win. Wasn't to be. I'm absolutely raging now that he's out for two to three months. We've got McTominay out. Pogba out, which I don't really care anymore. I'm over talking about Pogba. I just want to sell him. Nothing against him, but I just think he he needs to go. We need money. Um, and I know the board aren't really going to splash out without getting money in. So, yeah, it's ridiculous. We need players in. I was really hoping that we'd have Bruno Fernandes done before this game. I didn't think he would play, but like it would have been nice to just have reassurance that we're getting someone in we're doing something about how shit we are and um, but yeah we're like we're crap we are crap all our players our, our squad is dwindling down we've lost Ashley Young now and um, he kind of forced his way out of the club which you know good luck to him at Inter I, I like Ashley Young I think he was a great servant to the club but at the end of the day that's another player gone and um, we've we've people are saying oh yeah Ollie's getting rid of all the players yes that's good we want the deadwood players if that's what you want to call them we want those players gone but of course we need them replaced we had a massive squad and it's just dwindling down with injuries and letting them out Fellaini, Herrera, Young, Lukaku, Alexis Sanchez who probably wasn't even he was a ghost anyway for us but you know these players need replacing and we've not done it Rashford injured, McTominay injured, Pogba injured. Pogba should be back in February, but to be honest, I really don't see him coming in and making an impact because he's packing his bags and he's off in the summer anyway. So yeah, uh, we need to be getting players in. It's uh, There's not long left in the January transfer window. 
transfer window. What the hell was I saying? January transfer window. We're running out of time. Like, what are we going to do? Who are we going to get in? Who? The only one that I can think of is Bruno Fernandes. Um, and then Sumare, I think that's his name. It would be great to get him in. And I think we need him now more than ever. But uh, I, I don't know. I'm just not positive. I was positive last week. But things just seem to be going from like worse and worse and worse. It's crap. As a Manchester United fan, this season has been terrible. The past few years have been terrible um, and it's only getting worse. It's just going to continue going downhill. I don't know when this will get better. Um, but yeah, Liverpool, the best team won today. I, I wish it was different, but they're running away with the league. and They're on their way to their first Premier League title. And yeah, I think they fully deserve it. Klopp, very good manager. Their players are great. I can't fault them, but um, I did think Manchester United would do something in this game. Oh, anyway guys, um, let me know your thoughts on the game. Let me know your man of the match. It's hard to pick a man of the match for me because, like, honestly we were not good. But um, I'll, I'll probably say Fred or De Gea, maybe. But it's, it's very hard to pick when nobody really did anything. Nobody really stood out. So let me know your player of the match. Drop a like on the video if you are drained being a Manchester United fan uh, or just drop a like on the video if you think Manchester United are absolute shit. Anyway guys, if you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, drop a like and I will see you for the next one. Thanks for watching.